Hey everybody, this is Magic Mike reporting live with a fan cam for Lee Judges TV. Arsenal Wimbledon, the Nigel Winterburn Derby. This fixture brings back some pretty sketchy memories of Highbury on 17th of May, 1989. A game I attended, I left crying uh, based on having completely blown our chances to win the league, or so I thought. Uh, anyway, back to tonight, shameful beginning. And, and I'm not talking about Arsenal, I'm talking about the the Emirates Stadium folks, the, the the turnstiles were an absolute mess today. Security, people like myself missing the beginning of the game, uh, long, long lines to get in, and just absolutely no excuse for the fact that I don't fit through the turnstile. Um, I, I'd like to just officially blame Arsenal for that, please. Uh, anyway, uh, they finally wedged me through, and, and they had four people push me from behind, and I got in to see the second half, uh, which was really the best half to see. I mean – one nil to the Arsenal has kind of been a big deal over the years, and we've really kind of brought it back into vogue in the last couple of weeks. But today, for as long as it was 1-0, uh, it was taking it a little too seriously. We needed to win this game more comfortably, and ultimately, as you, you know, probably know, that we did. So great game lineup-wise for Bird Leno to get the start. I think the Bird man uh, starting today means that we're absolutely seeing Ramsdale on Sunday, which is the right move to make. Thank you, Mikel Arteta, in advance for that one. And you better get the Jaka decision right as well. Uh, back four, exactly what I expected, a complete rotation. Noon Tabaj, which is my favorite time of the day. Pablo Mari, Bobby Sacramento, and of course, Cedric the Entertainer. Can't really complain too much about any of their play. We didn't concede a goal. Don't really care the level of the opponent. That never really stopped us from conceding goals in the past couple of years. So well, uh, well done. And obviously, there'll be four more changes on Sunday when we get our starting back four back. A uh, bit surprised to see Partey playing tonight, like most people. Uh, but I'm not going to freak out about it like most people. Look, you know, it's a risk, but you risk putting someone on the practice pitch as well. And uh, Thomas Partey getting some game action, hopefully a little bit of light work, and uh, and came through healthy. So I'm looking forward to seeing him uh, anchoring our midfield on Sunday against Spurs. Um, and, uh, of course, the front three, Niketia, Lacazette, Martinelli, uh, all of them needed some minutes. All of them needed some confidence. And I think they can get that between the three of them, two goals and a penalty one. Um, and Niketia, man, what a goal from Niketia. I mean, there are three strikers in the world that can pull off that kind of goal. And their names are Ronaldo, Ibrahimovic, and Giroud. And, uh, and I'm putting Niketia in that category for that finish. I mean, look, uh, he's clearly as good as the three of them. Uh, very uncharacteristic moment for him. Beautiful finish in front of goal. Uh, he's always had that uh, ability to finish in front of goal. He just hasn't really had the end product in, in the quantity that you'd want to see. Um, so, Eddie Niketia, good game tonight. We'll see you in, uh, in about a month for round four and hopefully not before. Um, and uh, honestly, uh, I think the next, the next round against Leeds at home is a great draw. Job was done tonight. Nothing really too much to complain about. Why would you complain? We're, we're, we're three on the trot, three clean sheets going into Spurs on Sunday uh, with, with some confidence. So I'm optimistic about that one. This has been Magic Mike, live from Emirates Stadium for Lee Judges TV. Come on, you gooners.